junkin' pool over here in Portville. Well, what do we drag home today? there yeah I just bought this trailer uh, brought it home 69 miles so whatever that is round trip and this was supposed to just need a pin there's a bearing out of it oh so, I don't know if the guy for the jack I don't know what the guy misled me knew about it but the way it goes it's a tilt bed it's about 17 foot. It's uh, neat lubed up, but it looks to me like they made a winch mount, which I was going to do because I've already got the winch. So they added this weight, this uh, C channel there, plus this weight here. I'm assuming that would be a battery box. I had it open earlier, but I guess I can't do it with one hand. A pinto hitch on it. Got a bend right there. I might convert that to a ball. I think you can buy them already made up. Just bowl them on there. I haven't decided on that yet. I just got the jack sitting there under it because this one is not working. He didn't tell me that until he got there, until I got there, but I I ended up giving him $2,100 for it. I don't know if I did good or bad. I know they're really expensive because I wanted the tilt bed. <clears throat> he wanted $2,250 and he went down $50 and he said he didn't want to go down anymore, but I thought about leaving it, but it's hard to find them with a steel deck. I didn't want the wooden deck. That's got a little bend in that part. It's got a couple holes in the bed. A little warped from probably hauling with it. It isn't going all the way down. It needs... There's a tracker on there. It's in that box. One tracker for one side needs to be welded on there. I could pry it over and go down, but... Yeah, I think I did all right, I guess. I think these are probably seven grand new. I might be wrong. It's uh, 12K is what he said. He wasn't sure. Needs to, it needs the lights rewired and the brakes rewired. Eight lug wheels. Frame looks really good. I crawled all under there. Um, I don't know what that is, a patch. A patchulets or whatever the heck that is. Yeah, that's gonna just be slid over. Yeah, it's got a little like that thing right there. I'm gonna weld that on. That ain't no big deal, but it's real solid underneath here. It pulled really good. Like I said, I pulled it home 69 miles. It was I was doing 60. Actually, we're driving along, and I realized this truck had that uh, trailer towing on there. So I hit that. It seemed like it pulled either way pretty good, but I just left it on for the trailer. In fact, I should shut that off probably before I forget. I don't know. Come on, truck. This key, I always got to wiggle it. I'm not sure I'll probably get all the get it so it works good but with this weight counter right here in the front that must have been original that run all the way back there I imagine that's all original but I got a hydraulic cylinder out back I think I'm gonna rig that up on there to jack it up and down I was looking for a pry bar I guess I just took all this stuff and took care of it I gotta be careful about doing that. I won't be able to find the stuff I'm looking for. Yeah, 
yeah so I got a few vehicles I want to get around over here and take in and I've got a couple other trailers that I'll get this one going and sell the other ones and recoup some of my money that's just got to be slid over a little bit he had three or four other trailers there said one guy was gonna buy it and he ended up selling him an aluminum one but not sure what size tires these are these I'm gonna oil these all up check everything out the bearings seem to be pretty good I was gonna bring a jack I didn't but I kind of wiggled around that tire's got some rod in it but I'll probably just use it locally here so I'm not sure how much weight it'll actually carry I assumed at least six ton so the reason I was buying this is because uh, I'm actually looking for a pretty nice skid steer with some pallet forks on there well, this ain't too bad actually but by the time I put my winch on there that's another hundred pounds Just put these temporary lights that I brought with me to bring it home. He said he never plugged it into his truck. Now the lights might work, but they look like they're kind of the wiring don't look so good. He said he didn't want to short out and burn his wiring up in his truck. I don't think them fenders are original. They're definitely heavy duty. He loaned it to his friend of his to haul a fork with, but he said he got over there and the guy didn't buy it. It wasn't what he thought it was. But it'll haul some cars and a skid steer. I don't know about that back, well, that might be a little much for it. But I don't really need that to go anywhere anyway. I got a little tractor out back. Need to get a cap for the bearing there. Got a couple trailer places around here. I can probably get any parts I need. I'm not sure on this. I should check because I'm sure it would be nice to leave this original jack on here. It's just a bearing in there. Oh, hands are all dirty. There's a greasy thing. I pulled this apart when I got home. I didn't know. Piece there. It looks. I think that's broken half, and the bearings are just laying in there. But it wouldn't that be that big a job to buy these. I was just looking on the computer. I think the farm store sells them. I could cut that off there. And re-weld one right in that same spot. Try to get close to the same diameter as I could. Might be the way to go. Yeah, the wiring don't look so good on it. I guess he bought it in, from uh, Pennsylvania and drove it home. So, but it does. It really pulls good. I was surprised. I thought it might be too heavy. My truck's a half ton. My other one is a three quarter, and the one I probably end up using it for is a dump truck, the F three fifty four, the five hundred dollar dump truck. Sure, would cost a lot more than the truck. But I've been looking for something for a while. I looked at that one at the auction, but it got way out of my price range. I don't really care so much about them being party, just at the haul some pretty good weight. This is not so heavy that I couldn't pull it around to grab a car or a truck or something like that. And not so and I can still haul like a skid steer on it too. Well this is the junk and fool over here in Portville reporting for duty. Beautiful day today. Now that truck there will haul a lot of weight. Hope everybody has a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Go find a project now. Goodbye now.